All right, just one more project before I clean up the bench because I have to. It's getting hard to work on the projects as you guys can probably relate to, to do that. But I got my project completed. So this is the, the Franklin Oscillator. Um, many uh, contributors on the ham ch channels. Um, I found the schematic through the s s solder smoke blog. Uh, th thank you, Bill, for that as well. Um, instead, instead of the gimmick capacitors, I used a one uh, picofarad. Um, uh, from the tank to the first transistor here, or where the first gimmick would be, or G G one, A and for G two, I used uh, two one picofarad capacitors in parallel. Um, then in in Instead of the 15 picofarad, um, I uh, used a 0.1 here. Um, and then since we're on approximately 6 megahertz, uh, 5.6 to 6 for my c c current experiment, um, the... the the input impedance to this stage here is approximately 124 ohms ish. So I built the the um, impedance transformer from the 1k output impedance from this stage to the approximate 125 uh, a 0.1 here and a 0.1 here to couple it in that's a 15k resistor a 3.3k these are all 2n3904s oh, oh, and then a 120k to a 1k potentiometer here um working as a rheostat um, to control the the voltage into the the mixer here. Um, this is just a mixer from the uh, bit X twenty. Um, as my main test. Because I w wanted to make sure to uh, to uh, have enough v voltage, and I do. Um, and then the, the, this is a by filer wound transformer to convert the approximate two hundred ohms to the fifty ohms here, and then point one into the um mixer here um so and then i'm y y using a 7806 with a point one on the e the input point one on the output here and and then everything else is pretty much to schematic um that's on the hotter smoke blog so um, the Franklin oscillator as what I has been seen is extremely stable. Um, and through, um, v v videos that I've seen and, um, up into the uh, higher frequencies too. So, um, let us first see here. So we're on six megahertz here. Just a little bit of a uh, hand cup passing And then our frequency looks good. And this is being, sorry. 
this is being read right at the entrance here. So, pretty awesome. So it was a good project. I certainly plan on using this style VFO for upcoming rigs, for sure, because I like this one. Um, and the range here, let's go all the way. Meshed is approximately 5.629. Let's hear the stability down there, unlock it. Let's go down here, right about there is good. Turn it up. Yep. Oh, sweet. And now we're gonna bring it all the way open to 6.041. So now let's go all the way through. That is awesome. So, uh, the bandwidth of approximately 400 K Hertz. So that's pretty cool. And sorry, let's turn this down on another note to be able to make a VFO and y y y y using a uh, T 37 dash six as the L as the inductor in the tank. That's pretty awesome. Cause usually those affect VFOs. So um, I've been using just a uh, air wound um, and that's that, that's how uh, helped me in my uh, bit, 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 bit X 20 style VFOs. And so just wanted to share, but uh, yeah, on to cleaning this bench. And on to the next. All right.